Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the latest software update from Tesla 2019-36.1. This is a very big update in terms of what it means for Tesla, but it also includes some pretty cool features. And depending on your car's configuration, you may have a lot of features or you may have a little bit of features. Let's break it down and see which features you get for your car. All right, so 2019-36.1, this is a big update because this is the first update that Tesla has released that includes full self-driving slash hardware three only features. The first features specifically for full self-driving computer, also known as hardware three. Now this update is also big because it has some segmentation between the different types of updates that it includes based on your car's configuration. So first and foremost, let me get it out the way, the fact that uh, our car has been sort of out of commission, undergoing some updates and some upgrades. So that's why it's taking a little bit long to get this video out. And as you can see here, we're actually downloading a newer version of the, uh, of the software, which I may review as well if there are any new features, if it's not bug fixes. That aside, let's jump right into it. So again, depending on your car configuration, you may have a few updates or you may have a lot of updates in terms of the features that you get. The major updates features wise is the scheduled departure as well as the automatic navigation, right? These are the core features. And again, depending on your configuration, you'll have different release notes with different features, but the major ones are those two, right? So scheduled departure, this is what we talked about for a while now um, in terms of the videos that we've made, requesting this feature, uh, a lot of other EVs also have this feature. Tesla has long not had this. And what that is, is basically the ability for you to schedule when you would like your car charged by, as opposed to when you would like your car to start charging. Now, typically customers in California specifically or other places that have time of use or off peak rates can take advantage of setting a charge schedule based on starting at a specific time. I want to start charging at this time to take advantage of off-peak rates, which is great. It's always been that way. It's never been anything different. However, for those people like ourselves uh, who don't have off-peak rates, then it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter when your car charges. What does matter for all people is when you want your car to be ready by, right? So this is the new feature, depart at. It gives you the ability to set a time uh, as well as add preconditioning. If you want your car to be charged and preconditioned, you can also do that as well. So if, for people who drive their cars to work every day, this is very valuable because now your car can be ready to go. The battery can be warm and hot. The cabin can be nice and warm or cool, depending on where you are. And you're basically ready to go every day. So this is a really, really big, really awesome feature that Tesla has added. You could even choose whether you wanted to do this all week or just weekdays only. So this is super awesome. Uh, you also have the ability to do uh, the sort of start at charging for those people who use time of use or for those people who have off peak rates. Uh, this is also good for them. So they have the option here. So this is really, really awesome. Thanks for listening, Tesla. Glad you added this update. The next feature that they have added is the automatic navigation, sort of tying into that concept of being ready, always ready to go. Uh, for day-to-day -day use, you have automatic navigation where the navigation, if you turn it on, uh, it will automatically route you to where it thinks you're going to go. And this is great because it starts to go down the path of predictive thinking where your Tesla can sort of know where you want to go before you go there. This is something that Elon has hinted at in the past and some of the tweets he's put out there. Uh, but ultimately, I think that's the direction they're going to go with with artificial intelligence over time. But for now, this just says, hey, if I'm at home and it's morning and I'm getting ready to go to go to work or I have something on my calendar, it will automatically route you to that location without you having to press the button. Typically what you would do is you would go in and you would select your calendar and select an event in your calendar that has an address and press that particular event. This one just says, I'm gonna automatically do it. And at, at, at the end of the day, when your day is done, I'm gonna automatically route you back home. So this is a cool little feature. Nothing major, doesn't really think, don't think it's gonna benefit us because our days are different day to day. So it's not always the same thing. And we don't always need to go to the appointments on our calendar in terms of navigation. So cool for those that it is useful for, but it's a big feature, okay? Now for us, we do have hardware three full self-driving computer. Look out for that video coming soon of how we got it and, and, uh, and how that process went. But for us, we also get driving visualization improvements. This is the, the hardware three specific full self-driving computer specific feature, which allows the car to be able to visualize construction cones in the visualization on the screen. So this is pretty cool. However, 
this is not typical for everyone. And so depending on what your configuration is, it can be different. So let's break it down. Let's talk about what this looks like for different cars. So if you have a Model S or a Model X, right? At the very least, you're gonna get these two features. If you have Hardware 2 or Hardware 1, you're gonna get these two features only, okay? If you have a Model S or Model X with the new Raven suspension, which for safety's sake, let's just say you bought it after June 2019, you're likely to have the Raven suspension. You'll also know so because you'll go into suspension. You'll see a feature for automatic uh, adjustment that, that indicates that you have the Raven suspension. If you have that Raven suspension, you're also gonna get a power increase by 3% and you're also gonna get a more aggressive regenerative braking, uh, which they call stopping mode, which allows the regen to stop you completely. It's more aggressive. It enables you to have more, more of a one pedal driving experience more so than you already have with the Regen on standard. Be able to come to a complete stop by taking your foot off the brake, the Regen will bring the car to a complete stop because of the efficiencies or the adjustments that they can make with that front Model 3 permanent magnet motor, okay? And again, if you have Hardware 3 and a Raven, you're gonna get everything I just mentioned, automatic navigation, scheduled departure, power increased by 3%, and stopping mode in addition to the driving visualization that you see right here, all right? So that's what you're gonna get if you have Model S and Model X. For Model 3, all Model 3s are going to get the scheduled departure, the automatic uh, automatic navigation, the power increase by 5%, as well as the, the uh, stopping mode that I just mentioned with the more aggressive regenerative braking. If you have the standard range, standard range plus, or mid-range Model 3, you're going to get a supercharging increase up to 170 kilowatts. All right, and again, if you have any of the Hardware 3 variants that I just mentioned, and you have Hardware 3, you're also, again, going to get the new driving visualization. So lots of segmentation in the different versions based on the features and your configuration of your car. So that's pretty cool. Um, this is a really good update, uh, again, especially for us because we were really looking for this feature. Uh, now, one of the things you'll note also on the screen, if you can see closely, we have a little download here. We're a little bit behind. That's because we had some issues with the full self-driving computer. We'll talk about that in another video, but we have a new update. The new update that we have coming up right now is 2019.36.2.1, which may be bug fixes. If it's not bug fixes and some new features are added, I'll definitely do a video. If it's bug fixes, then it is what it is. I won't do a video. We'll skip it to the next major release. So let us know your thoughts. Let us know your thoughts on this uh, update. Let us know what configuration you have and whether you find, find these things valuable or not in terms of the features that they released. Leave it in the comments, let's talk about it. Uh, until the next time, enjoy your day, enjoy your Tesla.